Good evening, Princess. Finally from Epcot. I had a lot of work stuff to do today, so I'm finally here for dinner. And I'm at a place that I, believe it or not, have never been to before, even though I've walked by it probably three or four hundred times. And it's at the Mexico Pavilion, and I, I actually don't remember the name right now, so pause. It's La Cantina de San Janel. It is the uh, quick service facility or restaurant here in the Mexico Pavilion, as opposed to La Hacienda de San Jose. La Hacienda de San Angel, which is inside the pyramid, which I have actually eaten at uh, several times. That place gets a kind of a, I don't want to say a bad reputation, but it's actually pretty good. It's been a few years since I've been there, but I always enjoyed it. I think people don't like it because it is usually very crowded. The tables are very close together and everything. But if you get a, a table that's near the water, you can watch the boats. It's actually quite nice. It reminds me of um, uh, Disneyland from my birthday, but I'm finally here for dinner and I'm very, very hungry as usual and I promised I would not say that anymore, but I did get something, well, I don't know, hopefully that's good and it's pollo cascabel and a mango margarita. And today is going to be a little bit special because we are definitely doing two new things. Uh, first one, well, second one being eating here. The first one was using the bathroom over in Norway, which I've never done that before either. Uh, it's actually quite nice. So, I mean, whenever you use that bathroom, you'll notice it's quite nice. I know it's kind of weird, but okay, two new things. I'm just gonna end it right there because like I said, I'm hungry. Well, that was another excellent meal that I had here. So that's two for two on Disney Quick Service. I am shocked and surprised and kind of disappointed in myself that I never ate here before because that was really good. After yesterday's uh, spicy chicken waffle at Magic Kingdom and uh, the, the chicken forgot <laughs> here, um, okay, I am definitely going to come back and try some of the other things. They have tacos and a few other things. can't believe I walked by this place for years without trying it, so very glad. I did finally. Well, you know, today I hadn't really thought about talking about anything, but unfortunately, sadly, I don't know, I got reminded of something. So let's just talk a little bit about something that you are going to experience. It's not avoidable. It's something that everybody goes through, and that is loss. Loss of, 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 of friends, of loved ones, of people pets and it's kind of devastating this morning I was reminded that eight years ago we lost our honey bear Miss Foxy which means that only a few weeks prior we lost our Miss Twinkles Trixie and uh, I don't know I I don't think many people really know how that affected me. I think mommy knows, Uncle Colin knows, Uncle Oscar knows, but I don't know, maybe even they don't really understand how that, how that really affected me. And it's fine, but what I want you to understand and know that is it's normal. It happens, it has to happen, it happens to everybody. And the best thing that you can do is feel the loss. Just feel the loss, no matter how bad it, it feels at the time. Just just feel it because, I know it, it totally sucks, but the thing is the sadness and the memories and, I don't know, kind of what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> really remind us and are indicative of the happiness that we felt when they were around. I remember all of all of the good times. You know, with you know, Miss uh, Miss Trixie was a cuddler. She always had to be next to somebody and she would always press up against you, you know, because she had to be there and Miss Foxy was always so sweet, gentle, always on guard, 
watching the entrance, protecting everybody. And, uh, you know, and you remember Bartok, all the walks we had around the neighborhood, all of those good times. So, feeling sad for them just is, is really memory of all the good times. And that's a good thing. And, and don't suppress it. Don't be, you know, don't be afraid to show it. Because that just expresses how much these, the they, these they people or pets meant to you. And uh, it just reminds us of the great times that we've had in life. And and really, that things do come to an end. And we should cherish every moment that we have with everything around us. You know, uh, even the things, pets and people and friends and family. Because one day they might be gone. And uh, all you'll have to remember is the good times. And even when you're remembering that and feeling sad, it's okay. Just feel it because even though you're feeling sad, it's because of all the happiness that they they brought to you. And I don't I don't feel bad about about feeling this way because <sighs> anyway, yeah. So that was eight years ago, and. I, know, I, I still remember them, and uh, so you will have the same. You know, I don't know who these pets will be. We all have Mr. Jack right now and Mr. Max. You know, there's uh, Mr. Max is still trucking along, and of course Jack is going to give all of us some great memories. And who knows who will come after that? But it's going to be great. And. Uh, it is something to look forward to. Even though I, I feel bad right now, I would never, I would never, ever, ever give it up. So, okay, well, it's time for more happy things right now. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I have a couple more here, a couple more hours here in the park. So, I don't know, maybe go on some rides. Maybe just ride Living with the Land or Soren or something, something fun. And just, uh, I know, remember the good things. What could be happier than dessert? So after walking around a little bit, I finally found the obvious dessert choice for today, which could be the obvious dessert choice for any day, and that is the Key Lime Tort from Festival Favorites. It was either this or the Maple Pound Cake from the uh, up north booth over by Canada that's still an option for next time but had to get the key lime pie definitely would have done it anyway the key lime tort from festival favorites yes I will finish it is really good the uh, key lime pie filling is really good the merengue is really good but mm, I know there's always a but uh, the 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 tort crust is not graham cracker and that is basically an unforgivable error so i guess i guess you could call it a key lime tort but that means it's not a key lime pie and um yeah okay as good as it was it was just really good but i guess it did have a fatal flaw really enjoyed it though and uh if you want to try a key lime dessert definitely get it but just be aware that it is not a good key lime pie. Sorry. Okay. Well, I am here in the uh, festival center. It is very empty because the park is probably going to close. Uh, well, it is going to close in, I think, 20 minutes. So I'm going to finish this and finish my walk around uh, World Showcase to get my steps in. I'm past, but still want to get as many extra steps as I can. So I think maybe I'll take this opportunity to say goodbye, lest I forget later. I know, I, I talked about a very depressing subject today, and that is loss. And, you know, like I said, it happens to everybody. And, you know, while I, I won't be able to protect you from losing, you know, uh, loved ones, be they people or pets in the future, 
I just want you to know that it's okay to feel it. It's okay to feel the sadness, you know, just feel the emotion because it just reminds us of the good times that we had. And that's really, you know, how we're going to remember, you know, these people or these, these, well, yeah, people, even if they're pets, these, these people in our lives. So it's, it's fine. Just feel it and use that to remember all of the good times that we had. And right now, I know I'm here at Epcot. I was feeling bad, but you know, life sometimes is a balance. And today, you know, just having that memory makes things a little bit difficult because, you know, Miss Trixie, Miss Foxy, Mr. Bartok were so important to me, but missing them, I don't know. I'm just going to remember the good times. It sucks, but that is why I am thankful for my problems.